here we are going on that lap, the one that I've been waiting for for so long in the super sport sort. A lot of us would like to call the Stream Bentley. And we're at the most amazing track in the world that I mentioned just now, the famous 12 mile Nürburgring. It used to be 14, but now it's 12 miles. They cut out the pits area. Beautiful sweeps and turns as we lead down hills very slightly. And then we're going to go down here around a right hander, Hochzeichen, downhill, and then go up down to the Flugplatz. You've got to be absolutely perfect around here, keep the lines absolutely spot on all the way. A little bit of a jump here as we just nip off the ground a bit, land straight, we hope. Whoa. We were straight. We got the famous Flugplatz. We're going to take this a bit easier. Whoa, off the ground. I said it comes off the ground. Braking very hard. Of course, the old carbon brakes really come into the fore. That's why we need them on this car. To be consistently hard and firm the whole time. Adding our force as we come in here. Down to second. Got to get a good trajectory out of here. You see how the car changes trajectory? changes direction, absolutely fantastic. As we have to have changed the, the transmission bias front to rear to 60-40, we get a much, much better uh, control through the corners. We get the tail starting to move out a little bit, and of course, uh, it makes it much, much better for pointing. The most amazing track in the world, but I'm driving the most extreme Bentley, and it's really, really very, very nice feel to it. Got beautiful handling, the car, of course, is 250 pounds lighter than it was before, right? Get on those brakes, slow it down. This is the most incredible section up here. Uh, we've now come to Breitscheid, very dangerous, fast left-hander. Of course, this is where the uh, better improved handling of this car with the loss of weight and also of course the um, the fact that we've got the better balance between the front and rear transmissions. Remember this engine's 620 horsepower now. Puts the power down so well that that all-wheel drive. Here we are the Caracciola carousel. I can drop into it, take you around inside it. It's a little bit bumpy. You can only go a certain speed round. If you start to go too fast, you shoot out. Then you shoot out at the end of the carousel. All 620 horsepower it punching as well. We're at uh, 14 kilometers right now. Working our way up to Hoa up. Gotta be very careful as we go up here. Again, the road sort of pops, drops away. A bit of bite there. Up over the top. Hoa up. Dab of the brakes. The brakes, boy, they do. Just haul the car up. Look at the way it changes direction. That's the great advantage we've got now with the, uh, the Super Sports, is the way the car changes direction. Uh, very quickly from one lock, from turning in like this now, to that lock there, and it's just dynamic the way it does it, absolutely superb. Of course, we've got this quick shift gearbox on this, so it allows us to really upshift quickly, somewhat quicker than before, and you can tell. Here we are, drop it down again, go to what I call the mini carousel, go around that, let it go out, 